Come on! <laughs> That's not their name. Oh, this is nowhere near, is it? <laughs> what even is that? Gem Conquer? No idea. Gemma Conquer Wall. Um, Gemma Cockerel? Oh, Jade Conquer. Yeah. Ruby E. Right, is that a diamond? What is that? What is that? <laughs> um, diamond. Ruby E. Uh, two Z. There's two E's. Oh, <laughs> Ruby T. Ruby Tui. Ruby, Ruby Tui. <laughs> Porsche Woodcar. Porsche. Porsche. Chop Woodman. Porsche. Is it Porsche? Porsche Woodman. Porsche Woodman. Woodman. Porsche Woodman. Very well done. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Great effort from Stuart Hogg there. Fantastic knowledge and of course rugby world cup crunch time now we're down to the final four yes down to the final four and speaking of being a great ally of the women's game we have former england international topsy ojo <laughs> yes sir hi oh, so good to have you here topsy thanks for coming no problem pleasure to be here but first of all initiation time dance move please your signature one uh you didn't warn me about this uh go on then <laughs> on the me. spot oh, oh that's really good <laughs> again <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. We'll you work gotcha. on that for the end. Yeah, we'll work on that. Well, as we said, you're a great ally of the women's game. Has there been a standout moment in the Rugby World Cup so far? Uh, I'll tell you what. Standout moments have changed, but my latest one is from the weekend just gone. It's from the England game. It's two. First, Sarah Hunter, the smile on her face in those conditions. Yeah. I'd be crying. <laughs> I'd be like, sub, half, half time, sub, sub. The other one, Emily Scarra, wringing her socks out. Like, oh. I mean, it is classic rugby, you just get on with it, whatever the conditions, but fair play to both of us. Yeah, they, them, yeah. they were practically swimming, weren't they? Yeah, basically, and, a shallow pool. <laughs> and speaking of England, they are about to potentially make it 30 wins on the bounce. I want to know, are you a fan of the forward tries, or do you want to see a little bit more flair from the back line? Well, see, the back in me wants to see it spun wide, but look, bottom line, this is the World Cup, it's about winning. If you think when the men won it in 2003, Nobody cares how they played. All we care about is that they won. So this will be exactly the same if they get over the line. It's a good That's point. true. That is good a good point. point, yeah. And the reigning champions of New Zealand are up against France. And France actually beat them recently enough. How do you see that one going? Oh, this is tough. I mean, the Black Ferns are in a completely different space at the minute, completely transformed. It's going to be tough. It's going to be closer. But pre-tournament, I did go England-France final. Yeah. And I'm going to stick. I think France will just get over the line Ooh, in this one. It's a big call. Tin hat. Tin hat. <laughs> well, one thing we do know is France are just 80 minutes away from securing a place, a potential place in the final. And are their French plats the secret to their success? Dans les coulisses des tressages de bleu. C'est une tradition euh, dans le rugby de faire des tresses comme ça. Quand on joue, euh, généralement, on a les cheveux à droite à gauche. Ouais. Donc, euh, c'est quelque chose qui tient, mais ça ne me dérange pas euh, pendant tout le match. Ouais, c'est plus pratique. Plus esthétique aussi. <rire> <rire> Popo, j'ai entendu dire <rire> que tu es celle il y a le plus de tresses, donc tu prends beaucoup de temps. Oui, <rire> j'aime pas m'attacher les cheveux, donc du coup, euh, je m'attache que le devant. Donc en fait, j'en ai un peu plus que les autres. C'est psychologique aussi, si je les ai pas, c'est... C'est un peu ton uniforme de guerrière. Ouais, c'est ça. Résultat final. They don't call it French plats for nothing. I gave it a go myself this morning, boys. What do you yeah, think? They're lovely. Yeah, like yeah? It. I'll teach you how to do it later, Topsy. Yes, please. Oh. <laughs> Their commitment to looking good as well is reflected in our Canon Moments wall. Let's take a look, shall we, Greg? Yes, the Canon Moments wall is looking lovely. We have a few new ones here in the middle. What do you think, Topsy? Yeah, I like it. I like it. You've got obviously Hannah Bottom in there mixing in with the fans. There's a bit of a fancy dress theme coming on, obviously. There Stars is. and Stripes, Rock big as well. Roll. Loving this. This guy's having a great time. He is having a great November, time. November, very on point as well. But I think my favourite down here, I'm loving this t-shirt. 
Father and daughter, what's that? The legend and the legacy. Legend you can't and legacy, that. yeah. Passing that's, it down. That's the Batibusanga family, that's Iliseva, and her father actually played for Fiji, but wearing an Aussie top supporting his daughter, so really there cute, isn't go. it? There you go. This has been a year in the making, hasn't it? A year delayed, everybody's out there having a great yeah. time. This is my number one. Canon moments of the round is this one right here. Lovely stuff. Great and choice. We have a ritual every week, don't we? Yes, we do. Topsy, we take a photo with our guests every week. Would you like to get one with us? I'd love one, let's do it. <laughs> you had over 300 caps for London Irish. Did you have a celebration for the amount of tries I yet? I did. If I'm running in with no one chasing me, just, just a little finger work, just you know, little, just letting everyone know. It's, it's try time, it's try time. Yeah. So. All right, let's go for that, so, ready? Okay, smiles. Three, two, one. Oh, ah, we're looking good, but That'll not good. quite as good as the Wallaroos and their unique approach to weather reporting because it was pouring down at the weekend. Coming to you live from my Takere Stadium. Now for the weather report. Hi, Bessie, yes, it's a 99.9% .9 chance it's already raining. <laughs> yeah, the weather wasn't great, but that didn't stop Blackburn Portia Woodman from becoming the top try scorer in Rugby World Cup history. Wow. Portia Woodman for the Rugby World Cup try scoring record strikes once more. Speaking of records, it was smiles all round for newly crowned most capped England player, Sarah Hunter. She's on 138 caps. It's unbelievable. Congrats, Sarah. But how do you get your face on the Canon Moments wall? Well, all you have to do is use the hashtags on screen and we'll put the best ones up there. And one woman who is absolutely obsessed with the tournament is Grime Bran. And this week, she's been getting a little bit emotional with some fan mail over from New Zealand. Nan. Yes. Nan, come here. Take a seat. Come on, girl. Right. Right, you ready? Look at this. Ready? Yes, Graham Gran. It's me, Shauna. And me, Taish. And we're players with the England Red Roses. Oh. We know you've been keeping up with our games and we hope we're making you proud. But oh. <laughs> Does that make you want to cry? We've got a few more games left, hopefully, and then bringing it home. Bye. Oh, that lovely. Do you like that? Yeah. It's oh. nice, isn't it? Good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, I'm really... <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> Should we watch the quarterfinals then? Watch the girls? Yeah, well, we better. Oh, that lovely. Isn't it like being yeah. an orchestra conductor? Try it at the red Oh, yeah, sorry. Come on, girls. Look, 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 look. She's not even looking. No. That's a good day. I'm going to Chancellor. Chancellor, that is brilliant. She's pissing down, isn't it? Yeah. I want to go test those in here. Let her forward pack go to work, surely. In the rain. Just singing in the rain. Boom, boom. Oh, yes, feel it. I'm happy again. Oh, I feel the f***ing drawing in. Oh, that. And a handful of tries. Well done, girls. That's it. Oh, I salute win. them, ladies. Another great win. I five bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not letting you not going to keep doing that to me. Grime Gran getting the love she deserves from the Red Roses. And speaking of Red Roses, Ellie Kildan has had a go at our Keepy Uppy Challenge. I'm Ellie Kildan, and this is the Keepy Challenge. Oh, yeah. Not sure what we make of that. We have spoken to Nigel Owens, and this is what he had to say. This is not soccer. It's a no from us, Ellie. Sorry, but thank you for getting involved. Yeah, thanks so much. Taylor stays on top, but we're going to see if Topsy can get 20 and beat her. Get some hope, lads. Let's go. It's about time, is it? <laughs> all right, all right. Here we Best go. Here, luck, we go. Here we go. One, One two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh! <laughs> there was a handball. There was a handball. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Right ball, right sport. It's fine. No, that's pretty good. Nine. Uh, yeah, nice. nine, yes. Well, well, give me that one. Could do better. You Could happy do better. with that? Uh, I'll, I'll take it, bro. Where are you going? Oh, you beat Brian in it. Just underneath you as well. Yeah. It's oh. all right, man. I'm happy with that. You even beat Greg. It's all right. <laughs> Can I get another go? No? No, it's right. just the Fair one enough. and done, man. All good, but all good. You don't have to be any good to keep your office at home to get your hands on some of these amazing prizes in the studio. What do you think from Ashley? Yeah, we got some rugby balls, got some mouth guards, got some training kit. Yeah. I definitely want to take some home, that's for sure. Yes, the jerseys are my personal favorite favourite and to get your hands on them all you have to do is use the URL on screen and answer this question from Mr Topsy Ojo. Who is the most capped England player of all time? Is it A Sarah Hunter, B Tatiana Hurd or C Maud Muir? 
And big congratulations to Matthew Perry and Frank Peters. They're our winners from last week. They got themselves some prizes. So good for you guys for getting involved. Yes, congrats, guys. And now it's time to hear from Coach Burf. Rachel's been down in New Zealand, and this is the Fanalytics. Now this week I put a question out on my Instagram to you all and at Rachel underscore travel time has asked about Sarah Hunter reaching 138 caps. Let's have a look at her record breaking game. Sarah Hunter is known for her try scoring abilities off the back of the work of the pack. Look at the control at the back of this scrum. Now the conditions were terrible. It was like a massive paddling pool out there. But with all the ducks in a row, they are steaming over to towards the try line and the control around the ball from Sarah Hunter. Lovely little footballing skills that she's showing at the base of the scrum and gets over for England's first try in the quarter finals match. And how good to have your very own cheerleader in Marley Packer. Pom poms in the air. She is so proud of her captain getting over for the first try. And our next comment was from Alicia underscore Pocock, who commented on what about that Black Ferns dummy kick try. Now, if you didn't see it, take a look at this. Now, this is one of my favorite tries of the weekend. It's as if she's gonna kick to touch, but the quick tap to find her hooker on the outside and then look at the steam roll that they get over. The power in those legs is unbelievable. Watch as all of them go to work, all in sync, like they practice in the training park and how about that for an unexpected try thanks again for your comments and for watching fanalytics this week make sure you get your comments and videos in for next week we're just one sleep away from finding out our rugby world cup 2021 finalists Will Canada make it to their second Rugby World Cup final or will the winning momentum of the Red Roses catapult them to the final? And can the Black Ferns secure a place in the final for the sixth time or will the French ruin their party? Head to rugbyworldcup.com slash 2021 for more on where you can watch it in your area. It's semi-finals time, the pressure is on. So we thought, what better time than now to just give each other a nice little Slap around the face of the wrap, hey? What? You have that? So this is going to be our match predictor game. We're going to do a prediction for France versus New Zealand. Well, the last time I was France, they actually lost to England and you've backed France to get into the final. So I think you should be the Frenchie. Uh, yes, yes. You're right, yeah, you're right with that. You are backing them for the final. I will so, back France, yes. And you'll be uh, representing New Zealand. Come on, New Zealand. So how it's going to work is you're going to have your mouth filled with water and it's going to be the first person to crack. Just give each other a nice little friendly slap. Okay, we're all friends here, want to stay friends. Just let me give them a little... Okay. Just, just like that. Right. Thanks for the demonstration. Here right, we go. Right. Topsy. Topsy, we'll let you go first, seeing as you're the, you're the guest. Topsy's gonna cry. Topsy's gonna cry. <laughs> I am officially calling that a draw. So we're going to let you guys at home decide. Is it going to be France or is it going to be New Zealand who get themselves a place in the final? Use that hashtag RWC2021. And that is officially a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to say that this whole segment. Totsi, you have been amazing. Thank you so much for being uh, here. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Really enjoyed it. Great sport. Dance it out. Dance it out. Uh, Ready? Go on then. Hit me one more time. Woo!